Today on UI7 News Break, the return of an Illini monument has students pulling out their cameras. And student organizations help bring awareness to sexual assault through a number of events. Your UI7 News Break starts now. From the Richmond Journalism Teaching Studio on the University of Illinois campus, UI7 News, your U of I news source. Good morning, I'm Carissa Townsend. And I'm Trish Christakis. This is your, your US 7 News Break. The alma mater was greatly missed during her year and a half absence from the university. The iconic statue returned to campus just in time for the graduating class of 2014. Students watched from the sidelines as she was placed on the pedestal at Brighton Green. UI 7's Jesse Goddard was there for her arrival. I have a picture, like a selfie with Alma, with her, with her head. All eyes were on the alma mater as students and faculty reminisced while watching crews work for nearly four hours to put the statue back on its base. Graduate Arthur Gutsky didn't have Alma there for his graduation in December 2012 and says he's waiting for closure. I feel like it kind of, it's a conclusion. It's like, yeah, you know, I've, I've actually earned this picture now. This is something that you do when you graduate from Illinois, and if, it, if you can't do it, then it's... I, mean, I kind of had the feeling that it just wasn't over yet. Brand manager for public affairs Joel Steinfeld says she's more than just a statue. Alma is kind of the figurative mother of the Illinois family and mom's been out of town getting taken care of for almost two years. And so as a representative of the campus, it's really important to the students that take photographs in front of her at graduation for her to return. After nearly 600 days of restoration, the alma mater is finally on campus and back to its original bronze color. Experts say this specific restoration process will keep the statue on campus for another century. And after that century, the future will find a time capsule stored in the base of the statue, holding about 100 items from an LED light to a student iCard. So whenever it's open, there literally will be greetings from the past to the happy children in the future. The iconic statue welcomes students with its arms outstretched, a representation of the quote on the base, and will be there to continue to welcome future generations. It's what everyone thinks of when they think of tradition. I mean, we sing to the alma mater, you know, we have our alma mater, and you know, you think of the, the, the statue every time you come back. In Urbana for UI7 Newsbreak, I'm Jesse Goddard. The alma mater rededication ceremony will take place on June 6 at 10 a.m. at the alma mater plaza. Today, the only parking lot on Green Street is no longer open for parking. Lot J is shut down in preparation of the new hotel and apartment complex. Lot J, located on the corner of Healy and Six in Champaign, was one of the most populated parking lots on campus. In addition to the hotel and apartment complex, the lot will also have a parking garage that will fit 131 cars. For now, city officials are directing drivers to park in other spaces around that area. Many students are faced with the worry of having to pay back student loans while questioning if they should even pay at all. Thomas Goki, organizer of Strike Debt, came to campus to speak about the morality of paying back student loans. Is it moral to pay back your student loans? Was the question that Goki asked the crowd. The educator informed both students and parents that paying back student loans is far more difficult than it was 10 years ago. The members of Strike Debt wore red badges and sold books to show their support and raise awareness about the overwhelming debt that comes along with student loans. Goki left his crowd with a note that students should not have to surrender their financial future to the bank. Ebert Fest has been a 16-year tradition filled with movies, stars, and popcorn. Local businesses look forward to the film's festival's return as a way to improve their business. UI7 Sam Sherman has the story. Ebert Fest is one of the most popular events of the year in Champaign. The annual film festival sponsored by the late critic Roger Ebert is celebrating its 16th year and will span from April 23rd to the 27th at the Virginia Theater. Nikki Peratt works in the box office at the Virginia Theater and says that people come from all around to attend the festival. Individual tickets went on sale and we sold out some shows that day. It's just, it's widely popular. I've sold tickets to somebody from Alaska, like they just, it's nationwide and it's just very exciting. One local business that thrives during Ebert Fest is the Aroma Cafe in Champaign. Jamar Turner is the general manager of the Aroma Cafe and has worked there for five years. Turner describes the scene at the Aroma when Ebert Fest rolls around. It's, it's absolutely insane, man. It's, it's crazy. We have um, people, you know, line, we have lines out of the door at times. Um, 
yeah, everyone's, you know, it's, it's good to see some people's faces. Um, you know, we, these are some customers that we see only once a year, so it's always great to welcome them back to Champagne. Just a few of the guests that will be headlining this year's Ebert Fest are documentary filmmaker Steve James and director Spike Lee and Oliver Stone. In his five years of experiencing Ebert Fest, Turner has never seen any of the festival's famous guests at the Aroma, but hopes to see a certain director stop in for some coffee. We are hoping to get Spike Lee this year. I want Spike Lee in Aroma Cafe this year. Turner even knows what drink he would recommend. I'm gonna say Spike, you should get my favorite drink, which is a, a dirty chai latte, which is just a, a chai latte with a shot of espresso, with whole milk, all the fat and deliciousness that you can get. In Champagne, I'm Sam Sherman, UI7 Newsbreak. You know, Trish, that dirty chai latte sounds great right about now. It really does. I'm going to have to try out that coffee place one day. Yeah, I'm sure uh, Eberfest is great for local businesses in the area. It's got to be when you go, you see a movie, you want to get coffee before, get drinks after. I'm sure the businesses love it. I mean, it's been a 16-year tradition, so it keeps the business flowing. <laughs> what about you? Are you going to head to Eberfest this year? You know, I might. You know, I have a few friend fanatics with movies, so they might want to tag along with me. After the break, find out why Greek men on campus will be icing their feet after this weekend. And why you might be seeing more and more students checking their watches. We'll tell you why after this. You think you're just checking your messages? Or telling a friend you're on your way? They could be the last words you ever type. Make sure you get where you're going. Bethany Ann Doak. Ian Donnelly. Kirsty Lynn Duthit. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello, that's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. Every day, kids witness bullying. Why are you stabbing me with it? No, no. They want to help, Ow. but don't know how. Oh, you Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov. Yo, 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 check out this chef, right? <laughs> right? That's so gay. That's really gay. <laughs> Dude, look at those pants. Please don't say that. What? Don't say that something is gay when you mean that something is dumb or stupid. It's insulting. It's like if I thought this pepper shaker was stupid, and I said, man, and this pepper shaker is so 16-year-old boy with a cheesy mustache. Just saying. When you say that's so gay, do you realize what you say? Knock it off. April has been nationally recognized as Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Many students at the University of Illinois are working hard to support those affected by it. In honor of Denim Day, University of Illinois students decorated jean squares with messages and statistics about sexual assault awareness. Denim Day began over 20 years ago when Italian Supreme Court dismissed a rape charge against a driving instructor who sexually assaulted one of his female students. The court ruled that because the girl wore tight jeans, the act was consensual. The ruling sparked an outrage across the country, causing women to protest by wearing jeans to work, which has since then been recognized as Denim Day. Denim Day will take place on April 23rd of this year. The squares will be combined into a large tapestry that will be displayed around the U of I campus. If you're on the quad last week, you may have noticed a lot of men stumbling around. A group of men wore heels to make an unusual statement. UI7's Kelly Parker was there as guys tried to put their best foot forward. An abundance of fraternity men showed up at the quad last week to walk for a cause. These men were participating in Walk a Mile in Her Shoes, an awareness-raising event featuring men in high heels. Being educated on sexual assault, the men walked around the quad to learn what it's like to walk in a survivor's shoes. I wanted to see firsthand how it really felt, and it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Fraternities and sororities gathered around the union, cheering on the men participating. 
sexual assault victim Laura Martin says the community involvement is critical in bringing about awareness. And it's nice that everyone's coming together to just su like support everyone else. It's a support system, really. Walk a Mile is a national event supported by all four Greek councils here at the University of Illinois. Anna Kashuba, also a member of the committee, says that although this event may be playful, the cause in which it supports is very serious. This is like a, something that's very, very prevalent, especially on this quintessential college campus, and we can't ignore it anymore. And you know, if we're just talking about the Greek community, there's so much that we can do to band together to really prevent this kind of violence from happening to people. With one in six women being victims of sexual assault, this event brought attention to a topic that is largely overlooked. A lot of these things are unexpected consequences. You don't know that you're perpetuating rape culture, and so we're trying to open people's eyes to this is happening, here's, where, here's like what it is, let's do something about it. Let's not let it happen anymore. There's no reason for it. Sexual assault is no laughing matter, and Walk a Mile proved that men can make a difference. For UI7 News, this is Kelly Parker. Free bagels was the phrase catching everyone's attention at the Illini Union. Einstein Bagels and WPGU 1071 worked together to promote the upcoming Illinois Marathon. With a booth featuring bagels and coffee, WPGU staff stood outside in the cold and gave students a chance to win half-off food deals. Down in the basement, WPGU DJs were also challenging many students to a game of rock, paper, scissors for a chance to win tumblers, t-shirts, and free coffee. Bringing one of the most popular activities on campus, the Illini Marathon is looking for active students who are eager to run. In order to promote the health and wellness of the marathon, Einstein's had a special offer of running shirts for students who signed up. With the marathon taking place on April 26th, Einstein and WPGU hope to see many students up for the run. With his powdered white wig, Wolfgang Amadeus Schmutzenberry showed kids in the Champaign-Urbana area just how fun making music can be. The Deutsche Young People's Concert taught children about classical music and composers from the 1800s. Schmutzenberry composed music right in front of the children's eyes. Musicians played the oboe, violin, viola, cello, and the piano to help tell stories. After listening to the music on stage, the kids were anxious to make their own. Keys, beads, and gadgets made great maracas. The kids danced and showed off the instruments they made. A lot of runners wear watches that help them determine a lot about their run. Now the future of wearable technology has arrived in Champaign, and the best part is that it's free. The smartwatch company called Pebble donated over 2,000 smartwatches to the U of I computer science program. After 250 students lined up the halls of Siebel Center hours before the workshop where they would receive their free smartwatch. Some students lined up more than five hours before the start. The workshop is open to all students of all majors. Pebble wants to spread the awareness about their new watch so students can help develop skills to make new applications for it. The watch can be linked to anyone with a smartphone. Computer science and students are, and Pebble recruiter Nathan Handler led the workshop by teaching students how to use the watch and develop a simple weather application. Computer science students will have their funds and a full time as they continue to develop and learn about this technology. You know, it's really cool to hear about smartphones, smart cars, and now they have a smartwatch. Yeah, you know what, the students that are making applications for it, I would love to see a GPS application. I don't always have time to pull out my phone to figure out where I'm going. <laughs> exactly, or like, you know, the bus is on campus, I can just like look at my watch and say, oh, well, it's going to be here in five minutes because the GPS, you have, you know, a little time on there and everything. Yeah, so we can make sure we make it on to time, to class on time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's really cool about the smartwatch? I'm sure you can get like movies on there, so if you don't want to have your phone out or your computer out, you can have your watch. Oh, that's so cool. We can sit there and watch movies <laughs> with our friends on our wrist. <laughs> During class or something, you can look at your wrist, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> I'm sure they also could have different um, applications for restaurants in the area and to figure out what we're going to eat for the day. Exactly. Well, that's all we have for this edition of UI7 Newsbreak. Be sure to join us next time and have a great day.